Concord Museum with Erica Lohm. We're going to talk about this door. Can you fill us in on the history? Sure. Well, on the morning of April 19th, when the 700 regulars came to Concord, they split up into different companies. Uh, about 100 regulars went to the North Bridge, about 100 more went to the South Bridge. Uh, most of them stayed in the center of town, but another hundred went to Colonel James Barrett's house. And that's where they were led to believe that's where the stockpile of militia, uh, military supplies was being held. And in fact, it was. Uh, Colonel James Barrett was a senior officer in the Concord militia, and he was sort of in charge of coordinating the stockpile of military supplies, and a lot of it was at his house. But before the regulars came to town, they had strategically moved most of it off site. So there's really nothing for them to find. But that morning they didn't know that and so about a hundred red-coated British regulars arrive at James Barrett's house and they knock on this door and behind the door is James wife Rebecca Barrett. Now by that point James had left the house to go muster above the North Bridge so it was Rebecca home alone with her children and if you can picture uh, for a minute just how intimidating that would be knowing that behind the door are a uh, hundred men who are looking to search your house. You don't know what to expect or to anticipate. And Rebecca did let them in and they didn't find anything. Uh, so they, they left thankfully peacefully and returned to town. But uh, it kind of just goes to show that uh, everyone in Concord uh, kind of knew what the stakes were. Uh, they uh, were um, you know, rolling cartridges in their home. They were stockpiling supplies. Uh, the wives were just as aware as uh, their husbands about what was going on and, and over Rebecca Barrett was uh, an avid supporter of the provincial cause, so uh, you know she knew what the stakes were, and uh, you know they weren't just willing to risk their life; they were willing to risk their property, uh, and their their home, and the things in it. So I mean that's really what the stakes are the morning of April 19th, not just for the men at the North Bridge, but for the women who remained in town and had to fend for themselves. And pretty remarkable story when you think about it. Uh, it is, it really is.